on your mode from Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven. The only one that actually made sense <laughs> was seven. Really? Sense? That's scratching what? So how, how, what made you come as Cla Cloud? Cloud? Cloud, um, sorry. I love the character. It's the first con I ever went to. I got the sword and from there I was Did like, you make this yourself? Unfortunately not. I wish I could say I did. But I got it from the first con I went to. And from there it's just like, have the sword, might as well get the costume. Are you, by the end of the day, by the way, you're going to be like having muscles just down one side for carrying it all day because it looks pretty heavy. No, like the character is like pretty scrawny, so uh, can't get too ripped. <laughs> and Catwoman. Hello. So are you are, are you a criminal today or are you a crime fighter today? Mm, a bit of both. Depends which Joker I'm talking to. Depends if the Joker's nice or not. Have you met someone with Batman here? I have met someone with Batman. Okay, were they nice to you? Mm. Or were you not nice to them? I, I'm, oh, I'm never nice. I'm You're never nice. nice. Never. I can really see this character. I was going to say what got you into the character, but I'm not even going to ask. It's just totally you. It is just totally me. So you've had a good day then? Yeah. I was shouting at the masquerade. Hear that one person yelling? That was me. Just yelling the entire time. You know why. Yeah, you were there. Yeah. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> well, look, I've already, well, the day's nearly over. He's coming back in tomorrow? Definitely. Okay, we'll maybe see you then. Hope you had a great day. All right. Nice. You see. You're Sorry right. for taking that away. Oh, you're all right. I'll let you go back to the cross-dressing now. So anyway. Oh, yes. I thought we were okay. over that. And exit stage left. You ain't, you ain't getting rid of that cross-dressing. <laughs> Who the heck are you? A Twilight from Star Wars. Okay. One of the more minor characters? Yes, one of the sort of background characters that you probably never see. Is this one of the ones in the bar when they're doing the jazz? Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> so how did you, why did you pick this? Because the Star Wars movie is coming out in December. Right. So that's kind of the reason why I kind of sort of And you're pretty much guaranteed this. you're going to be the only person here today dressed as that character? Yes. Okay, so like the four Laura Crofts we met earlier? <laughs> okay. Pretty much. Look, it looks absolutely amazing. Thank um, you I hope you had a great day. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. This looks like it's a lot of work to get this done. It is. It's uh, three hours. Three hours? One hour, but it was pure dry. Wow. And what, what, what's it actually made from? What do you use? Liquid latex. Okay. And this one comes in a bottle and you have to sort of make it all a oh, while, wow, so that's why it takes three hours. Yeah, okay. I can't even do this properly. <laughs> so can you eat or drink in it or is everything through a straw today? Everything's through a straw. Oh, and no. I can't eat. I have minstrels in a bag but I can't eat. So are you just going to be going out later tonight for Halloween or at that point do you think your face will just be completely stuck? I'm, I'm going to go out but... <laughs> You're not quite sure how long you're going to last then. Okay, well look, thanks for talking to us and I hope you have a really great day. Thank you very much. So, um, tell me, who are you today? Me and my friend, we are the Aztec Gods. Okay. So we just decided to do something different, you know, don't copy somebody's else cosplay, just make something by my own, by ourselves. Can you tell me a little bit about the genre that that comes from? That comes from the Mexico, that's the extremely old believing of the gods of sun, god of war, you know, the sacrifice people had, you know, to burn them and sending the flame to this, uh, you know, for give them something for get that treat you know this kind of way so we just decide to show to people how they was looking like because not many people know they was even exist so i am the golden eagle the, go the greatest warrior so one of the two you know most popular one the second one was the like a cuckoo but we had no third person for make it and he's the stuff like a quasar coat it means the feathery snake god of sun play fun and stuff like that so how did you manage to get into this what was the attraction oh just we find out the idea oh let's do something else because last time we done the slavic god of death from forest so that's more like a fun god and we made that for the third no for the fourth of may for curry con you know on the belfast king's Hunt. and after that we decided to do something different you know the change the mask change the costumes that's why we made this one. So that was going to be my next question. Did yes. you make all the outfits yourselves? Yes. I'm an artist. I done six years of the artist school, so I know how to do stuff like that, and I really like it. Whereabouts is it you're originally from? 
the costumes oh, I no, made. No, yourself, or about oh, you, Richard? Poland. Oh, you're from Poland, because yeah. these guys are actually Polish as well. My friend? Yeah, 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 he is. All right. See, I, where do you go? Oh, yes, I said you should have been doing the interviewing. <laughs> Well, look, thank you very much for today. Uh, you look absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll take it you're not going home on the bus like that? No, no, no. We have a hotel here, so we're going to be here also tomorrow. So um, does this mean you're going to be like walking back through the street? Because I think you could maybe scare a few of the locals if you were walking through the God, streets like this. I am God of War. I should. <laughs> well, look, I hope, I hope you scare lots of locals and you look amazing. Thank you very much oh, for talking you. to us. Thank you. Right, bye. <laughs> What made you just make your costumes today? This oh. is in the costume, buddy. <laughs> we're, we're actually real. These aren't costumes. These aren't, these aren't uh, real. We pick it for the realism. Uh, okay. We spend heavily on these costumes as well. Worth quite a few, couple hundred or even a couple thousand pounds. So do you find Disney princesses are really good sidekicks then for crime fighting? Uh, no, not really. I much prefer Robin or a turtle. <laughs> no, uh, we totally overtake the whole cosplay. We are better than you. No Just way. face it. It takes shorter time getting ready too. Exactly, it takes so long to get ready. <laughs> it's high maintenance. Freeze the place. It is. High maintenance, high maintenance. I do wear more makeup than most That's princesses. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So have you guys actually caught any criminals today? Uh, yeah, I, I knocked out a joker, but I think he was like three years old, and I think the cops are after me now. I think shred Shredder's in the lagging. Oh. <laughs> Shredder's in the lagging. <laughs> Well, look, I'll leave you to it just before, like, you know, he's get arrested or anything. Okay, okay we gotta so, go. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it easy and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, Thank you, Bisbal Big Guy. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Later, dude. So, we're with David now. Uh, David, tell us who the. Are you? Who the. Am I? Tell you what, man, I'm a cross between Tenacious D's demon and a demon from Legend. Tom Cruise can't beat that movie. I mean, come on. I mean, I can give you a better camera for your soul. Seriously. <laughs> Look, thanks very much. <laughs> Brilliant. Super okay. man. This is Shannon. She's going to tell us who she is. Hi, uh, yes, I'm Celine Wren from Star Wars Rebels. And I'm a member of a small resistance cell based on Lothal. And we fight against the Empire. Okay, and how did you get into this? Costuming? Yeah. Um, a long time ago, I just, I'm a really big fan of Star Wars and I, it's really, really good fun. <laughs> and you, your hair and stuff, would you normally have it like that or is this just for today? It's had to be a wig. I wish Aww. my hair was like this. Like, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Aww, I thought you were going to say, no, I wear this all the time. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a bit crazy for work. Okay, well look, thanks for talking to us today. No thank problem, you. thank you. We're with Abigail today, and Abigail's going to tell us a little bit about her character. I'm cosplaying Harley Quinn from Batman the Animated Series. She's fun, she's bubbly, and she's a pawn. So you really need But is she not a little bit psychotic? And well, she was. Unbalanced? She was a psychiatrist, okay. but then she met Jay over here, and she fell in love with him, yeah. and kind of. She kind of fell in love with him and his psychic. Did you make it? Or I made it myself. You actually made yeah. this? What about the hammer? It's made for me as well. Okay. And um, is this going to be like crowd control later? Probably. <laughs> Just go and black. Just... <laughs> well, Abigail, thank you very much for today. Um, just try not to kill anybody later. I'll try not to, but that's half the fun, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. That's brilliant. So this is Colin and he's here at the SSE today and he's going to tell us a little bit about his character. Hello, my name's Colin and I'm here as the uh, Green Hornets. Uh, I'm a member of the Emerald Garrison which is a costuming club. I've uh, been a member for like four and a half years which helps raise money for charities uh, north and south of the border. So how did you get into this character? It was just one day I was uh, watching the movie. Okay. I just look at it and say that's an, that's an easy costume to do. I have to ask, do you have the card match? I don't have a card. Do you have a Kato? Kato? I have a Kato, yes. Oh, yeah, uh, I actually have the uh, Mulan uh, Kato's daughter, Mulan Kato. All right, okay. And, and do they know all the moves? Can they defend you? Because I see there's some zombies in there. Yeah. Can they defend you from the zombies today? Well, I say I have a gas gun here, so I'll knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> look, Colin, thank you very much. It's an amazing outfit, and I hope thank you have a great much. day. Right, Cheers, thank you. Thank you. You don't talk in any form, we have to communicate non-verbally. 
are you having a fun day? Okay, that's the main thing. Look, enjoy the rest of your day and don't creep too many people out. So, how did you get into Darth Maul? Well, uh, I uh, watched it whenever I was a kid, and it was always my favourite movie. Um, and everyone always tells me it was the worst, but I loved it, so that's why I really like the character and everything. I've noticed so, you have a he has horns, is that right? Yeah, I actually had to paint mine on. Oh, okay. Oh, hair, right, okay. And yeah. I, my hairline's too low to get the prosthetics in, so I had to, uh, to paint those on with makeup and eyeshadow. So, so contact lenses, are they uncomfortable? Are they driving you a little bit crazy? Well, I wear contacts normally, okay. so I managed to get prescription ones. Wow. Um, so, yeah, but they are quite dry at the minute because they're thicker than usual. Oh, okay, because they're colours. So, at what point are you just going to go, right, screw this, I give this up, and they're coming out? Oh, it's six o'clock whenever it closes. <laughs> <laughs> you suffer for your art, don't you? You, you suffer definitely for your art. You look absolutely thank amazing. Thank you very much. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of the day. Oh, uh, no I worries. I won't hold you back any longer. Oh, thank, thank you very you. much. Brilliant. All right, cheerio. Nigel? Yes, Jim. Uh, what brought you today to film and Comic Con? Uh, today I came to see the costumes, but mostly just to see what comics they have on offer. And did you get some comics? Uh, I did, yes. I, got, I picked up a couple of uh, X-Men um, uh, limited editions that I had never seen before, so yes, okay. always good. So you're going to be home tonight? And you're yes, I'll be reading through. them as soon as I get home tonight. Oh, well, enjoy anyway. Thanks very much for talking well, to us. No problem. Um, um, tell us a little about, our, what's your character? Um, I'm, a, I'm a Dutch Angel Dragon. Okay. <laughs> um, Explain. Uh, Dutch Angel Dragons, kind of like, um, it's a form of Angel Dragons, which is a form of a dragon. It's kind of um, something that was created for the furry community. <laughs> I'm a furry. You're yes. a furry. Okay. I'm a furry. So tell us a little then a bit. Oh, sorry. Tell us a little bit about furries then. What 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 what's what's a furry? Um, a furry is someone who. It just has an interest in anamorphic characters and then yeah. to, like they desire to dress up like their favourite characters okay. and create their That's own cool. characters. And, and how, how did you manage to get into this? It's, it's quite a slightly like, off-peak. Um, by accident the first, just you know, it comes up on the internet and then you're I, like, oh that looks interesting. I think it was for me. <laughs> I, I no, 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 I'm no. Sorry, it wasn't. No. Oh no, no, you did before we met. Yes, yes. Came across it by accident. Oh. Mostly how you did. It. I'm so, sorry. So do you not uh, do you not when you come to like conventions like this you don't do like uh, sidekicks you don't like because uh, obviously you're doing zombie type uh, things today. Do I get that well, right? um, <laughs> <laughs> um, did I get that wrong? I um, cosplaying as Tate from American Horror Story, but I don't have a fur suit yet. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm so this is something you think you might want to get into at a later date. I'm I'm definitely into it already, but okay. I just haven't managed to find the money. Like what you did. Well, I have. A, I had a job. Yes. So I'll take it as real because we were coming over saying you're a fanny, and I'll take it as very hot in there. Yeah. Okay. So have they developed one yet that has air conditioning built into there's, it? Yeah. There's fans that you can get installed. Okay. I didn't have the money. <laughs> so this, this is the next best thing. So you're the Tupperware lid queen today. Well, look, thank you very much for talking on camera. I'm no so problem. sorry I got all your characters wrong. It's okay. I'm the person who came to film in Public Home knowing virtually. I, I can spot uh, Batman okay. and that's about it. So, but anyway, <laughs> thanks guys. Okay. Thank you very much. So we're with Joanne. You're on, we're on the Walking Dead stand. Tell us a little bit about your outfit. Well, I'm cosplaying um, Rick Grimes today from The Walking Dead, and he is my favourite character, so... And if you have a reason him. why you picked a male character over a female character for today? Just because I, I like him, I think he's awesome, so I thought, why not? And I suppose it's all part of the whole cosplay thing, it doing is. something you wouldn't normally it is, do. It is, yes. So, who's all with you today, then? Well, today I have with me, this is my daughter, Amy. Amy? This is my niece, Chloe. Hi. This is Amy's friend Naomi, and my nephew playing the governor is somewhere too, but he Over has there, disappeared. Yes, he's disappeared. So you're keeping it very much a family thing today? Yes, yes, okay. we all cosplay together. And you've enjoyed it so far? It's been fabulous. The stand looks very popular. Every time we've went past, you seem to have had a big crowd. Yeah, well, we've had a lot of fun. <laughs> well, look, thanks very much for talking to us. You're today. very welcome. Thank you. Well, um, I'm Jim Halford from The Office. I'm cosplaying as. Okay. Um, Hence the mug. Yeah. Um, right. I've got Stitch in it because he's adorable. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, it was the joke in The Office was that um, Jim had really lazy Halloween costumes, so I've got a really lazy cosplay. It's a whole punch piece of paper. <laughs> okay, this doesn't look so much like The Office, so no. tell me a little bit about this. Um, I'm Hudson Miki from Vocaloid. Oh, sorry. 
um, from her song Miss Pumpkin. Okay. Which is is like, that anime or? No, it's kind of hard to explain. It's Vocaloid is a voice synthesizer software that got popular. Okay. okay. Um, there's like different characters for different voices. Okay, so you're like an avatar from that then? Yeah. Okay, right, that's cool. Um, I'll take it this isn't your normal hair. No. Oh, okay, you don't, go to, <laughs> you don't go to work like that on a Monday morning. No, no, no. Oh, okay, but it's very cool. The bookies <laughs> look amazing. So thank you very much for talking to us today. Brilliant, thank you. What are you looking at, big guy? That's a uh,